Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to fix this wiper, windshield wiper, motor uh, issue. And actually, it's it's more joint and this axle axles issue because this motor is running in here, but these wipers they are not moving they are not moving and now there is thing that in that area in in some joint and axles and shafts there is there is this issue and error and how to fix that first step is that i need to now disassemble this my cars this uh, this uh, intake, cabin area intake, this plastic fence and this net and also I need to take this wiper arms away and it happens so that first I, I open these covers and here we have this nut and when I am taking these arms away I need to do in this yellow pencil markings in here that I remember that in what position this arm is in here not in here and just in that position and here is this my pencil what marks every surface manufacturer is Sakura excellent excellent marker and now there is this this nut what I need to open next and there is situation that there is this 12 millimeter socket what fits in here and I, I keep my hand in here and I open that, that bolt Now this nut is open and then I I do so that I take this arm away and first I lift that up and then I can I have to be careful at that I don't destroy these holes in here. These bolt holes, bolt and also this arm cover holes and I can only move that in this direction carefully. And now this is stuck and this bolt needs a couple of carefully hits and I use my socket that head and and I, I hammer I hammer that couple of times in here and actually once and then this opens nicely. Okay, good. And then I need to do same thing in this second wiper arm too. Okay and in here I have also take that nut away and then I I move that arm also away. Okay and next part is that, that when we need to look in here that we need to take this cover out and here we have screws screws in there in here for that I need screwdriver and I open that in here and then also in here and, and also in Here, then we go in that area. There is also one in here, and final part is in here. Okay, and now these screws are loosened, and I can insert my hand in here, and then carefully, I can.
can lift that up so that, that this bonnet hood must be in up and then I pull that cover in out. There is this cover. Okay. And then we go to look that, that there are those control arms in their inside. And next we look that what is their issue. Because this part must move moves when I I move that that arm and now now it seems that there is some issues because some part is loosened because these parts must move and then we go to look this motor area and and first I open this motor areas bolts what are 10 mm socket that fits to that my tool and then only bolts opening In here Here and now, now this is loosened and one bolt left in here. Down. That's opening. Okay, now it's loosened and then I take this wire out that I press that part in here and pull out. Then, then I noticed that, that there is this error. This part is is like free. When motor is running, this part moves in this way. When this part moves, this is by the way, this wiper blades and arms motor what moves that that axle this bar. And then, when this axle moves in past that hole, there is this opposite side in this way. In that way we go to look in there, when these arms are moving, like in this way, the motor moves. Then in here, when we look this arm joint, where are those joints? This is also moving in this way. And in that way, when this moves, those plates moves in the same way. That in, in that in this direction. Okay, and so we have now issue that this part in here is loosened. And actually, that joint must fit in this joint in here. This this joint is is loosened. That hole and then that bar. Okay, and I need to fix that. And first of that fix, I need to do so that that here is this my. This is my engine. There's my engine, and I need to remove that joint in here. And this happens so that, that I take my this bigger friends and I insert that in here, and then I need this, this socket in. Part. And, and this part is okay. And this was 13 millimeter. It fits in here. And other side fits in here. 
and like two that hand keeps this and then in that that way I can open this central bolt now it's in there and then I can insert that in this way and if this is stuck I can do so that I bend my screwdriver in here and then this part opens okay and then I need to connect that bar in this this another joint what is in here free and then I need to take this this axle this system away first I need to open these bolts and these are 10 millimeters. There comes this tool. And here. Now these bolts are free. And then there is second bolts in there. System out so there's one, one hole where the school system comes out. Here. It just when I a little bit move that goes out, and here is this issue. situation that in here these joints are fastened like in that way this is the right but in some somehow and in some way in that area there this joint is not and I need to insert that part in, in this way and then the system is that way and then this hole goes to that hole and then the system works and not in here. Now I need to fix that that joint in here because this is now loosened. And there is this issue. This is now loosened in here. That part. This part has been worn out, and I need to do it. here some fix. Okay. 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 What? What kind of? What kind of fix I? I can do that in here. I think that I need to next. Drill in here small hole and insert in here plate and bolt and then this part is in here fasten. Now it's it's loosened because this is not right. This is the right way. Here is this part, then I insert that in here, and then I need to drill in here, small hole in here central. 
Okay, but next I start to do that. I take my driver and I do in here a small hole. Okay, and here I have small drill in my driver and I try to do in the central area one small hole. There is now there is no small hole, but we, we need deeper. One centimeter. Good. Okay. Then I insert in here some some bolt or screw next. Okay, and then I have huge amount of different kinds of screws, and I select in here some suitable screw like in that one and that kind of set is good to purchase this costs something like 10 US dollars and then I test that screw and I, I try to screw that screw next in there using my screwdriver Okay, and here I am working. There is this part. Next, I, I am drilling in, in here this, this hole. And now there is this hole in there. And this takes time, like 10 minutes. First in 2 mm small hole and then 2.5 and, and 3 mm is this final. Okay, and then we go to check that how this my bolt works. Okay, and here is this my part, and there I have a very small bolt that fits in there excellently. Then I tested how this my how this my joint works if I insert that part in, in from here put that in that position then I need to insert some some this metallic plates in here in that way and then of course I have small screws and I I insert I insert these small small screws in here and actually these are not screws these are small bolts and in this kind of joint there's a lot of movement I need to insert two bolts that I can do locking and then I need to of course insert grease in that joint that, that it lasts long time and next next I insert grease okay and then I insert that special grease in there there is this this is very useful for bearings like in that area and I take in that and, and this crease is really important when we think those long lasting moving parts and then I insert this this my this joint joint in there this in there and then 
insert all of this my plates and then here is important this double lock and it means that I insert in here two those small nuts and then I fasten these two bolts in to get her and then this joint is tight. Next I tighten fasten these nuts. Okay and then I have here this small fence and I then I fasten this bolt so that first day I to get her then I check all time that there is this movement a little bit more and this all time this flexibility is must okay and a little bit more even more and then I check that how much there is tolerance and then final tightening is so that when there is two nuts that I fasten this upper one only and that makes this joint to last in this way okay now this joint is ready and there is that side and I think that this fix is quite quite good. And then we go to install that in back in this car. Okay, and here I start to insert the back in here. so that I set up this place and when I rotate that this holes comes to see here and then second bolt good then I insert that array in there. It comes there. This is like pre-tightening, not the final one. And there was that and then this area where I have that part. Now I am searching this joint. joint and then I insert this motor motor joint in here and this is then important part that in what position we insert that plate it can affect that in what what way those wipers are and we need to maybe change this position later but but let's let's see that, that it, it should be so that when this moves 
and then these wipers are I think that this plate must be in that position. Yes. Just just Yes, this is the right way. They are in here and then when this part moves then those wipers moves or well actually yes this is the I think that this is right way. This this place. Okay, then then I insert that then I insert that bolt. That, that position is good and then and this bolt in, bolt in here. Bolt in this way and then not there is not Then it's important that when you are disassembling that that motor, that you check that in what position these parts and these joints are in your car, because it's really important. Because it's good to take like photo, because now it's quite difficult to remember. Now. Fasten this bolt and also in here no movement when we are doing this, this final. And then I need of course this other tool that eliminates this movement. And then, then, I, then I fasten. Then I fasten this bolts. This nut actually. And now this, now this nut is in here. Tighten and fasten. And then I insert that. Okay, and then this pin sealed, pin sealed wiper motor fix is in that position, and now I am, I am running that engine, and also these parts in here, they are moving in there, and in their inside, those axles and shafts. They are moving in there. They move in there. And also those moves. And that part move, moves also. And in here, it is really important to analyze that, that in what, what uh, area this part is moving. Because when we are in installing these insert wipers, those metallic bars, we need to analyze that, that what is this right movement. Okay, and then second thing is that when I fixed when I fixed that engine, there happens so that my bolt is taking contact in this steel plate. And, and we can hear this sound. And that's I need to adjust that bolt so that it can't be 
So if I I fasten that bolt totally, then we hear this metallic sound, this knob, knob. And this is this is not good because now this some part is taking contact in here. I do so that I I loosen the bolt and then I insert in here a couple of metallic plates in there. And then I loosen that in this way. Then the sound is away. Now there is no sound. Okay, next I will insert in your couple of metallic plates. Okay, and now I have in here that thickness of plate. What I am planning to insert in between in here. And this reason is that when I insert that plate in here, then there is no this bad zone sound. I like a little bit of just that. Can I, can I move that? So that. Okay. Now it's there. And then I pass the bolt. And then, then when I have in inserted that plate in there, then we test that again, that is there any extra sounds then yet. Okay, then I start to insert that next control arm in that position. And there is important that this arm becomes in nicely, in the same way as this previous like in direct line in here and then I think that this is okay and, and then then I do this press and it means that I move that and same time I press that in down in here. Okay it's good and then I insert in that position this special bolt this is really really special because this part moves in that way and this is something copper please use original special bolt in here because this this bolt is also like bearing it it, it, it is in there and then I fasten that okay and in in other hand, now we can check how, how it works. Okay, and this works very well. Okay, and then final step is that, that I need to insert this plastic caps in, just in, up in these bolts. Okay, and thank you for watching this video.